like people, the first thing they see when they come to locks, they're like, you look dirty or something. I wasn't really bullied. It's more like people would just try like avoiding me. It's gonna be out there. Oh my goodness. How do you guys like maintain it? You just wash it like any other hair. Any you other just wash hair. it. The only, only thing is it takes 10 times longer to dry. And if you shake it too much, you throw your neck and your back out. All right, guys, I just got here to a mall to interview and talk about this guy's dreadlocks. I met him at a mall. I met him at Desert Sky Mall in Phoenix, Arizona. Maybe it might be in Glendale, but I met him there. I was just like, that's a cool dreadlocks, bro. And then his dad was right next to him. I think his dad will be there today. And I literally asked him, like, how long you've been growing? And he says, forever since he was born blown my mind was shocked so i was like my people gotta see you man can i put you on my youtube he said yes and i brought them masks active wrist mask i only had a few left i think i have one more left after this so if you guys want to grab that last one go ahead i give y'all a discount which is 20 banger for 20 percent off so go get that if if you want to get the last one and then i'm shipping out some of the jewelry and i'm thinking that i'm about to run out soon so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna maybe stop the website for a little bit and work on more products and bring it out unless you guys want more of the jewelry i can make those available let me know in the comments below all right time to get to this video You guys can start introducing yourself. Starting off greetings. My name is Rasito. We represent the Virgin Islands, St. Croix to be specific. And this is my son, Jackie, aka Jackie, and he's here. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? The future. Yes, sir. I'm Topo. And uh, born from Connecticut, raised in Arizona. And yeah, we just represent the US Virgin Islands. Okay, let's start with this. What does dreadlock mean to you? What is the dreadlock? Even the term, you know how people, some people don't like the term dreadlock. Some That's people okay. like lock. So what do you think about dreadlock, the meaning of dreadlock? Well, to clarify the roots, our roots, our nati, our connection with the spiritual realm. It's a, it's a, it's a connection of culture and our spirituality. You know what I'm saying? In our culture, it's a thing of maturity, beauty, strength. It goes hand in hand with our nature. It's an uh, extension of our, our nervous system. It, it keeps us aware in Babylon. You know what I'm saying? Aware of the seen as well as the unseen. So we wear it with pride. Not to be proud for, but we wear it with pride because, yeah. For me, like, my dad always said, uh, it was like, my hair felt more of a, like if I was to cut it, it's like just giving a part of me that was just, how do I put it? It was always a part of me, like individually, like as a as another. I didn't always think of my hair as just something people cut off, you know? It was always something to me that I just cherished and just enjoyed it. I just love the fact that people come up to me, people just come up to me and be like, yo, how long you been growing your hair? And I tell them 16 years, and be like, yo, that's been a minute, man. And I just think they really enjoy it. What is uh, the definition of dreadlock to you? Do you like the term dreadlock? Uh, for us, it was more naughty. It wasn't really dreadlocks. So it'd be like, you were, I didn't really care how they say dreadlocks, but just, I think, naughty dread. Sorting words sound out in creation, we try to keep it up full or positive. You know what I'm saying? And the term dread, like I said, I don't have no personal about the word. But if I choose to speak a word into existence, I choose for it to be neutral and up full. You know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What are some negative things that you, especially you being in school and stuff, you have went through having dreadlocks? And also, you, I, I bet you have so many stories. 
Uh, but I want to get it from you because a lot of the audience is, is from like younger. Yeah. So like, tell them about like the things that you experienced negative. Of course, I can tell you a strong man, but tell them like things that you went through on the negative side of having dreadlocks. I wasn't really bullied. It's more like people would just try like avoiding me, like just have uh, what is it, an opinion, or just they judge you just by the way you look and. I didn't look fearsome, or I'm not sure how to put it. What is it? Threatening? Intimidating. Intimidating. I didn't really look intimidating, but people would just be like, I don't like the way he look, he look. I feel like people, the first thing they see when they come to lots, they're like, you look dirty or something. They have a preset mind condition. You know what I'm saying? It's like a stereotype or a stigma. And the only way to break it is through interaction. You know what I'm saying? That's why, in a way, I'm preparing them for the future because they see how I do it naturally. You know what I'm saying? We come to break a stigma. This is why they say we conquerors, not warriors, because how we interact with creation, we already know we come with the positive force. Positivity is life. So when we come to you, that force that people avoid, it confuses them because they never feel these feelings. We are aware of this. So we walk in power and we gentle with it. We present ourselves honorably. I try to be a classic Rasta man. Not in your face with it. We try to win them over and kill them with love. And in the end, they end up loving us more. It's a, it's a win-win situation. But I ain't gonna lie, as a man in Babylon, relax. It has been a learning experience. If you look at it, well, it made me a better man because I was angry when I was young. I look at it as, um, what's the word they use? Prejudice or racism. But in, in creation, people kill what they don't understand. So I'll be a fool to try to create a whole new mindset. Instead, I, I discover, well, okay, let me adjust myself and perceive it from a different angle. I consider myself a people person. So when I start to change my perception and the interpretation and deal with them according to day fragility, it work out better. It work out better. It's a simplicity still in it. It's our nature. You know what I'm saying? You deal with them like babies. It's written. You deal with them as babies. And in the end, when they start to eat hard food, they love you for your worth. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, let me ask you this. You said that you have never cut your hair, right? Yes, sir. Have you ever had a point where you wanted to cut it because you were mad or you were like... For me, like in dreadlocks, I don't like to wear it down because it gets in my food and stuff like that, so I have to wear it up. So that annoys me, you know? What are some things that, that challenge, I guess, I, challenges, challenges are having knocks? With a, yeah, having yeah, knocks. Yeah, yeah. I never felt mad at my hair. It was more like, I just, it's always a thought in your head. You'd be like, yo, how would I look like? How would I act? Would I act differently? Would it like change my persona? And when you think about it, yeah, it's like, like I said earlier, it's like you're another part of yourself. So when you try think, when you think about cutting your hair, you want to like, like chop your arm off. Yeah, man, you it's can't, like, you can't it's like about creation the same way. If you're missing an appendage, it's the same way we are locked. It's alive. So it, wow. we know it changes you. It's, it's science to it. And the reason why he gonna have difficulty answering the question is because he only knew one thing. It's not like you or me that I, I, I was raised in a Christian household by old wise women. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I know the before and the after. I have had times in my life where I went through situations where I had to part with my life. You know what I'm saying? And I told him, I, I, I told him I wasn't the man I was before. It made a difference. I was conscious of the difference. You know what I'm saying? So for, for that to happen to me, it's like a penalty, like a, like a something I'm afraid of more than, than jail or death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You handicapping me. I, I'm not trying to walk around creation naked, spiritually or mentally. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, we hold form to the, to the as they said, the old ways. We just mix in a little bit of sauce from the new to just, so we in that taboo. You know what I'm saying? Because our, our purpose here is the healing of humanity. Yes, I. Yeah, so everything we do, we keep that in consideration. We try to be open and welcoming and loving so we could infect this place with the original love, not the carbon copy love. Yes, I. Did. This is the spirituality side of having dreadlocks. You say you only know one thing, which I mm -hmm. you have experienced more. So, 
explain to me some of the spiritual advantages you have with Dreadlord versus what you did here. Your character, your personality, your spirituality. Well, first, first and foremost, because of the the challenges you meet in life, we was I noticed in there's a lot more to this matrix creation that we led to believe because the same trials and tribulation that we cause, it humble me. You know what I'm saying? It take me to self-reflection and self-analyzation. Why do I react a certain way to this? And as it progress and it get longer, you go through stages of self-analyzation because. Self-awareness comes with with growing lax. You can't you can't have lax and not be aware. You look in the mirror. Some people twist it. Some people do different. That that shows self-awareness. For me, who take a different route, I just let it fly. And as I go, I it, it heightened my self-awareness and it, it turned from a self-awareness to an all-around awareness. I learned to be a people reader, a personality reader. I learned to be able to flex myself and put myself in different situations and be able to stay afloat seamlessly. It come like I download information without having to ponder it. And I know it might sound crazy, you know, but sometimes I know my son coming without thinking. It's, I just have a knowing and it's who feels it knows it more so than an academic explanation of rigid sciences. It's a as Bob Marley put it, it's a natural mystic and who feels it, knows it, who is aware of it, it's a gift. And without it, I'm not great, I'm lesser. So we take the, we, we try it the natural way, that's all it is. Return to the whole ways in a modern society. Yes, sir? Yeah. With love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have certain situations in life where we, we can't ignore the other. We don't need to go into detail, but certain major events in life, and we had to cut and come again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had to leave everything behind. behind and start a new existence. Right. So this one right here, we start with my daughter. I was born, she's now 13 years old. You don't know. Beauty is in individuality. Yes, I did. We don't try to look like nobody else. Right. This is God. Individuality. So this is our pride and joy, we is a tribe of nature-loving Rastaman yeah. in Babylon. So, yeah, we holding it for him, man. We my holding goodness. it for him. He's my third oldest. I got third two oldest? grown kids. I got a son, my little white hands <laughs> here. I got, I got this for you guys, though, right here. Activist mask. This is what I sell on my online. At least I can do that for you How guys. How do I advertise? What, 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 is, what is this, the name of the thing you put? Activers. This is uh, YouTube, yeah. Activers. Oh, he sure, can send you the sure. link, yeah. Don't forget to shop at activers.com, y'all. If y'all want to support me, this is how y'all do it. It's going to be out there. Oh, my goodness. That is so cool, man. Yeah, man. How do you guys like maintain it? You just wash it like any other here. Any you just other wash hair. it. The only, only thing is it takes 10 times longer to dry. 10 times longer? 10 times longer to dry. And if you shake it too much, you throw your neck and your back out. Don't forget to shop at activers.com, y'all. If y'all want to support me, this is how y'all do it.